15 mile an hour in first gear, put the clutch in and just fucking rolling anti-lag. It was like, blah, 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 and just dumped it, like completely like, did that. And it was like, <laughs> like, I could see like the pipes in the hood going like this shit, cause my motor was like, hey, weird, but I don't know. I, I didn't ask him to really set it up, so. Hell yeah. <laughs> just Jacob's S2000. Yeah. All right, so. Where did it start? So you so bought it. 2021, I bought this in 2019 in February. So it's been two years, you know, over two years now. Yeah. I bought it turboed years. already. Yeah. Which was scary. Yeah, because it was, it was like setup. a junky turbo It was a whole different setup. setup. Yeah, but do you think it was a homemade old. manifold? Like custom yeah, manifold? I think it was somebody made it. It didn't look like it was from any company. Cause like there's no. only, I think one company I know of that makes that style. You know, remember how it used to sit like this? Yeah, yeah. There's only one style company, I think it's Full race makes it. I'm not sure though. Mm -hmm. So like that's not a normal that. manifold setup. No. Like people do that for certain reasons, I guess. Yeah, right. But yeah, if it was long, real, that was real long runner. Yeah, I actually think like they're a, a little shorter than these. I think this is a, yeah. long, a little longer, but yeah, because this one kind of comes up under. Right, and then it curled out the hood. Yeah. It so the intake was actually on this side. Mm -hmm. So just so it came like that and right. it ripped. Yeah, it, that, the like, salesman, <laughs> so I bought it from the dealership I work at right now, which is kind of wild. Yeah, yeah, right. So that was another reason why I bought it, because it already had the AEM system in yeah, it like working. Yeah, that's a big thing, dude. That's right. like and a that's grand. like $1,300 to yeah. do all that. So I was like... It was already had like all of core setups, even if the setup didn't work. Right, it, it had all the things. core things that I needed. The only thing it yeah. didn't have was a good clutch. They put a stock clutch back in it, and yeah. it started slipping. Okay. I test drove it, and that clutch held pretty decent i actually could redline it yeah but within when i actually brought it home and started you know doing it with like you guys mm -hmm. it slipped so yeah, i remember cory being down here and that mm -hmm. thing would slip it like as soon as VTEC kicked it would hook dude that thing yeah. had it was making like 400 i think that thing was hooking yeah it, it definitely made some similar numbers yeah, to yeah. that I just went full out and I just bought a full turbo kit. Or no, we had problems. Well, it did, it, yeah, we had problems with it. Because I bought a new turbo, slapped it yeah. on that manifold with, dude, this is what happened. I took it to Tom's, my old tuner, yeah. took it to Tom's. He tried to dyno it and he said, really? I think the turbo's blown up, which we kind of assumed that too, because it wouldn't yeah. make boost at all. Nah, it was being real weird after a while. So he's like, if you yeah. slap a turbo on yeah. it, you know, I'll <laughs> tune it and we'll see what it does kind of thing. We've all blown up turbos here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cut that manifold plate off and put a, a, uh, different, flange. a different flange on because it was V-band before, but I put a T4, T4, a T4 divided, yeah, yeah, divided T4 on it. So I had to make a new flange. So I did that. We did that and then took it back to him. And he just it's, tried to go. It yeah, didn't... it still had problems. It kept over boosting. Um, yeah, the old waste, it had a single wastegate that was stuck. It mm. actually got stuck closed, yeah, so problem. it's. He said he saw it spike 30 pounds of boost, and he said I'm not going to tune it anymore until yeah we fix it because he's like I'm it's scared to blow it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they that's what happened to mine when, when they were so low. Yeah, and they smacked the ground. It would shove the wastegate shut. Oh wow! Well. Just one of them like, would always get shut. It would boost like 35 pounds. <laughs> Oh shit, dude. We forgot the whole hood dump phase. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because that was when I was Yeah. That was right after that you was put when the I put the new turbo. turbo on and I was like, I'm not making a new exhaust for this, obviously. Yeah, I yeah, exactly. Tune, so I was like, oh let me see what a hood dump's like. Yeah. So it curled <laughs> straight the fuck out of the hood. Yeah, that, was that was intense. That I did like not get to riding it then, but it also wasn't like fully tuned to make it. Yeah, I couldn't. I could only so, use like I half think, the RPM. I think that's when I was down here last. You were I think. Like that, I think you were like, I don't want to drive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is how it was. Yeah, we that thing had a nasty two-step on it. Yeah, <laughs> it spit totally. fucking huge flames. Yes, that was that phase, and then yeah. we went to a whole new setup. Right, then, it yeah, work. then we did all this stuff. It's all schmuck built, like piping, the intercooler built by them too. Um, yeah. The turbo, yeah, the turbo is a Borg Warner. It's a little on the smaller side, it's a 5761. Yeah. So it spools really quick Ooh, at the low nine. RPM, but it, it still carries boost really well all the way up to mm -hmm. 9,000. Yeah, so then I, I was like, I gotta put a clutch in it, obviously, before yeah, I right. want to make the real horsepower. So mm -hmm. on boys. Saturday, we did that at Toyota. 
Yep. Me and my buddy put a clutch in it. And then it was um, I figured out why I wasn't, it, I still had problems with this dual waste gate. It still acted like they were closed and it wouldn't make, it wouldn't open the gates at all. Mm. So I was still over boosting. So I was like, God. So then I figured out, I actually, I switched one of these, I, I think what it was was like where the top lines were supposed to be were mm -hmm. on the bottom. So oh. I needed to switch the top and bottoms and then wow. boom, as soon as I did that, I was at work still. I did that and <laughs> I took one out and I cracked the gates and it worked. So I was like, oh shit, I just had the line swap. So yeah. people do that a lot, dude. Yeah. When you're setting up this yeah, this line, dude. I did that. I did that too when I brought it to my tune. He was like, okay, hold on. Duels made it so much more complicated. Yeah, for right, some dude. reason it did. Because I had to start putting T's everywhere and all this yeah. stuff. And I'm like, holy shit, where's that run into? Yeah. And like yep. the instructions uh, what are kind so of boost controllers. That's a Mac. So uh, I had like a cob one for right. the port. And it was just like the instructions were like, yeah, put this line on this and then this line on this. Right. And I was like, all right. Yeah, my diagrams were wrong. like fucking cave drawings, dude. Yeah. They were like lines, like yeah, literally yeah, yeah. circles and shit. Yeah. I'm like, it's thanks, like, like diagram. right. <laughs> so like the Mac ones, like literally identical to the a uh, AMs. So mm -hmm. okay, that's good. I was able to use both like diagrams yeah. to, yeah. and AM had a much better diagram. Yeah, yeah. So we got the clutch. Then I got tuned. Um, I have no idea. Someone asked me who I got tuned by the other day, and I completely forgot the guy's name, and I feel so bad. It's John something. I don't yeah. know why I can't think of his last name. I totally forget the whole process. Yeah, he's. <laughs> we'll remember it. Okay. Yeah, someday I'll remember. But, yeah, I'll custom catch can set up and then, did you have, so like did uh, Schmuck make your downpipe? Yeah, so he made the downpipe. Um, then I had, I got a buddy club, spec two, cat back. Yeah, and then yeah, you have to get that. a test pipe for these cars. So I got a skunk two test pipe. Mm -hmm. Somehow most of that fits together. Yeah, that was, that was scary. Um, the only thing got it. It has an exhaust leak at the downpipe and test pipe flange because they're still two bolt, but they're a little different in size. So I need to cut both off. Then you got, did you get a whole new intercooler or is it no, just- No, that's still the factory radiator. People have problems radiator. with aftermarkets fitting, like fitment. Okay. But I did get Mishimoto fans because they're a lot better. Yeah, uh, yeah, and tucked. Is that a three and a half What's intercooler? That? Yeah, I think it's so. A four inch. Four? Yeah. Mm. That's it. Good that's night, good. yeah. Yeah, they make a. I've seen a lot of people have like covers here too. Six inch, an eight, and I think they made a ten for a Supra one time. Oh my, they're getting they sheepy level. Five shirt, my car, and I was just like, no, I'll go with three and a half. I'm not gonna make like seven hundred yet. Hold on. Man. Well, yeah, because that one's rated for five fifty, I think it says. Yeah, yeah, that's. A... The only thing done to the motor that I found was the valve springs and retainers or strong twos, mm. but everything else is stock. So okay, yeah. And, but so that was the thing. When we first bought this, we tore the valve cover off. Right yeah, away, we did. And the cams looked great. Yeah, they, you know, they didn't look. Beat, and we timed you know. it. Or we, we played with the valve. Yeah, we, I adjusted the valves or, up, made sure that was valves. all good. Yeah, that was and interesting it's time. It's been running pretty good ever since I got it tuned by um, mm -hmm. John something. <laughs> John. John. Yeah, whatever his name is. I can't think of his name. Yeah. Interior is super cool. She's been sitting for a while. For yeah. Like this to this. By the way, if you would want. <laughs> that's UG Banner. Make sure to go over to our Instagram at Seven Valleys Garage. DM us, hit us up, and we'll surely send you one. A little, a little measly cost to some monies. Support the boys. That's all it's about. Like and subscribe. Yeah, baby. Like, comment if you have an S2000. Comment yes. what you got done. Get it done. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Let's give him a shot of the interior, dude. I think we've covered everything. She's um, mint. He did get a dyno. It's around 400 now. Yeah, it makes 400 Ford wheel. wheel. Uh, I can pull the sheet out. For all those yeah, that's true. People out there. Yep, people be talking. It's got full. I don't know what to say. You gone? You don't know. On those uh, smelly trees, just buy a bag of mints and leave them in here. <laughs> Whoa! And yes, dude, I do wow. keep the dino sheet in here for anyone that wants to question it. Yep, dude. So do I. If I can find it. Let me just cut it there. You get it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Ow. Dude, my back's been having problems. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find a actual number. Where are we out here? Somewhere there's a... Okay, yeah, right here. So max, 401 horse mm -hmm. and 279 torque. Yep. Yeah, and then that was at 13.6 PSI. Yeah, that's on my So, be. and he's like, he set first and second gear to eight pounds and third and up to 12. So it mm -hmm. might make a little less than four, but. Uh. 
That's if it actually makes the correct amount of boost. It might yeah. target 12, it might make 13. Yeah, right. But the average boost he was hitting was 10. So I guess he was messing mm -hmm. around with it at 10. Probably. And then... It was so weird because every single year they did something a little different. Mm -hmm. So the OGs, 99, Japan got them, 2000, America got them. And this was like, the black and red was pretty popular. Mm -hmm. But then after 2001, I think around 03, they started mix and matching stuff. Cause 03, you can get a full red interior, like dash, yeah. door panel, everything's red. Then they introduced that blue one. Um, the, mm -hmm. I remember the, the yellows and the whites and the blacks were really popular. Everyone wanted those, but I've the seen black the ones were the only ones you could get with red interiors that I'm aware of. I think the silver wow. ones in 2003 could come with a red interior. That's crazy. I yeah. See a good amount of blues and yellows. Maybe. Yeah. The There's light two blue yellows blue that interior. come into work. So yeah, it's a six pack. I love the way it looks. Dash is super clean. Yeah. Yeah. That has not the full. cracked. No, I like the AP yet. ones so much better. I don't like the AP twos as much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boost or air fuel ratio gauge up there, and then the boost down there. Yeah, I've been thinking about where to put gauges. I don't know. I want to get two more gauges for coolant and oil temp. Yeah, same. I really need them. But need I them just don't want to drill it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. That dash looks so but good. The A pillars are kind of annoying. I don't like A pillar gauges. Yeah, but yeah, and especially because like they'll, they'll do like up here. Right. Um. Truthfully, I, I would love to have maybe you could put a like, gauge right uh, here. Maybe you could put a sticky. I mean, they don't look the best, but, but could. But hear me out though. So I was yeah. thinking, I'm gonna rip the airbags out of this car at some point. <laughs> yeah. And like I, those panels, and stuff, so yeah. I know how to get those panels out easy. Oh yeah. So I was thinking about maybe just drilling into that panel and just rotating the gauges so that I can see them. Yeah. I mean, but, if it's not, like, it's not something you gotta watch like while you're in boost. Then no, you it's just it something. Right. right. It's just something I want to be able to see. Cause yeah. I was even like, man, what if I just tuck the gauges? down there under there yeah <laughs> just so i can see them then i was like eh, i actually want to be able to just go and look at them yeah you know? yep Dude, but you're right man. it's not like i need to be completely like i remember corey when, when we were drifting mm -hmm. he would get done to run and be like oh my old temps i like yeah, 220 yeah, i gotta stop yeah. you know mm -hmm. Dude, I, saw, I saw i just saw a nice just two big bottles on Instagram today, and it was a twisted tea bottle and i was like Yo. oh my god i want that mm -hmm. yeah batteries in the back i gutted the trunk mm -hmm. yep uh, I just got spare stuff. I got brakes in there. And... Did you put injectors in this? No, they're the original ones. We did Didn't have you to figure they out what they were. Backs on them, and we just soldered the wires straight to the harness. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do that if I ever put new injectors in. I'm gonna have to re yeah. solder them. Gotta love the new TI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta check that battery all the time. You got that quick it's disconnect, baby. That's how you know. That's a filler neck. Yeah. 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 Like evap lines and shit. Yeah. She got the thing zinc code, baby. That's funny, I have mine at work. Yeah, we're gonna do a quick uh, electrical diagger. <laughs> Can't arms. see it. We got, we got, here, we got, got, got any got. like resistance in here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh she's, she's walking, she's pretty start, good. Man. She'll probably, she'll probably start. start. Naughty, we learned in UTI it's 12.75 for every second. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be that. Oh when yeah, first, man, she's clean. When I first came back to this car to start it, no matter. At like eight volts. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, that's uh, good. That's normal battery. Then it's not like a Superman battery. No, I mean it's AGM. So yeah, both better. Oh well, yeah, dude. Yellow top. Shit, yeah, second so Brandon, cool. dude. I can't do that. I tried. I'm just like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're gonna like die. Yeah. Dude, the barrel looks really nice. You know yeah, like, dude. Yeah, you like it? Mm -hmm. I think it looks. It's yeah, dude. That's the right. That's the right one. Yeah, that's nice. Guys, nice. enjoy the S2000 rips, dude. If you want more rips? Make sure to like, comment. Helps the algorithm out. Helps get yes. a content out there. Hit the bell, please. Yeah, dude. Hit the click bell. That bell, baby. Had them uploads every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Hell yeah. Yep, the more you uh, support us, the more videos we can make. So. Exactly. That's so you can get those slaps out. Dude, Dude yeah. slaps coming. Stories coming yep. soon, gentlemen. Hit us up. Hey!
two.